Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy V for the Game Boy Advance. And this guy's dead. So much for this soldier. I thought this was going to mean something. You know, it did kind of mean something. He recognized Galuf and he called him... What do you call him? He's like a uh, Mr. Important guy. I don't know. We'll see. A lot of new jobs to play around with. And I just switched to... What are the levels to master up these jobs? You know, that's what I'm wondering though. Hmm. I wonder. Well, okay, this is still bugging the hell out of me. I don't know why they would do that. I really, really don't. But there is no way to get it. There is... There's no way to get it. And I think I might have missed out on a treasure or two. That's kind of... That sucks. You see, you never know. I guess we'll never be back at this place, huh? Probably not. Well, goodbye, Crystal, I guess. Ugh. Slydra, you're alive! <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Duh. Slydra! Slydra, you used the last of your strength to save us. What are you saying? Slydra, you can't die! I won't let you! Slydra, thank you. Slydra. I'm sorry, I, I just don't like Slydra. I don't, I don't like Slydra. I don't know why, something about the way Slydra looks, or just, it just kind of annoys me. I don't like the way it looks, and it's just, it's just too much. I don't know, man. This one's okay. I mean, it's fine. Like, let's calm down with the dragons. I, you know, I just don't want to get carried away with the dragon BS in this game. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't, I don't need it and I don't want it. I'm not in the mood for it. I don't want dragon stuff. Get out of here. Let me do stuff. And, uh, yeah. And, where are the evil forces? I mean, yeah, we've had, like, baddies and this and that, but, like, you know, Golbez from Final Fantasy IV, and then he had the four fiends kind of working for him, but... You know, of course, overall, they were working for an even greater power, and they were all being manipulated. Oh, and then, I mean, I didn't even mention Kane, who, you know, manipulations under manipulations under manipulations. So, like, where's where's the force? You know, where's the evil presence? You know, Lufia had the Sinistrals, or Sinestrals, whatever you prefer. Um, so Meteor, you're still here, cool. Like, yeah, we're, we're never gonna... Speaking... A couple parts ago. Speaking about places, you only visit once and then never again. You never know. I feel like... Well, first of all, it still pisses me off at that crystal shard, but there was just no way to pick it up. But yeah, I guess I, I missed out on one treasure chest. I guess it's not the end of the world, you know? So we're back at Castle Walls. Boom, 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 boom. We found a wounded soldier from Karnak and brought him back to the palace. He's resting in the guards' barracks. 
the Karnakian soldier crawled out of a hole in the meteorite to the north. He keeps ranting about stepping into some kind of warp or something or other. Not that soldier who died. That couldn't be the guy, right? I can't believe it. The water crystal shattered. I've heard that there's a room full of fabulous treasures beneath the castle. Let's steal any of them, and you'll be in a special room for you beneath the castle. And by that, I mean jail! <laughs> I believe that this guard and the other guard from out there switched positions. You know, you think they would? I mean, okay, so, the, you know, because he had the Kermit voice, but I believe the Kermit guy was out here originally. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, okay, so he's doing guard duty right here. This guy on, on our right side. Um, you know, he's outside, and it's probably cool out here. I, I'd want to be a guard out here, you know, fresh air and sunshine, whatever. But, like, the guards in here are just standing in the room. Like, this room. This is Boring. Wow, this is... I mean, if you had to pick a room, what room would you pick, guys? What room would you pick? And if you pick this room, you're boring, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the end. The jail below is full of depraved, despicable lowlifes. It's not best to interact with them at all. Alright, so some of it's new, some of it's the same old thing. I'm gonna... Eh, make this whole thing as quick as possible. Oh, that's the dungeon. And then, yeah, that leads out to the waterfall. Special place, so we're done over here. Um, here we go, second floor and the soldiers in here. Now that the crystal's gone, the water has started getting dirtier. Mm. You know, it's probably fine. These guys are just like... How shall we put this? Water snobs? Not right at all. These texts aren't sufficient for my research on the crystal. So, yeah, same old stuff in here with these dorks. Why is this such a special... You know, sometimes maybe it's just for fun. Shiva was sealed up by the crystals as pure water. But don't take my word for it. Take a look. It's in this book. I mean, maybe that was kind of a secret thing, because he's talking about Shiva, and... I don't know, guys, is Shiva... Yeah, probably. Shiva was probably an optional little secret... little summon thing here in this place. Listen up good. If you ever run into a monster called Jackanapes, you're up a creek. Here he is. I think, yeah, this is a different guy. I was investigating the meteorite that fell near Karnak when I suddenly warped here. Hey! Where is here anyway? Where'd Karnak Castle go? Hmm. Where is here? You don't know? No one told him? It's soldier. Soldiers. Whatever. Let's go talk to the, um... Oh, did the king make it out? He was... I think he did, right? Jesus. The king was mauled by Garnula. His majesty is resting in his quarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, alright, nothing, nothing, nothing. The throne, it's mine! So now he's in the quarters. Okay, now that's where we're gonna go. Princess Lena, now that you've found your Windrake, perhaps you should return to Tycoon. Everyone must be worried sick. You shut up, alright? I am a chick of action, and you have green hair, and you shut your mouth! Please, we would appreciate it if you would do as the king asks. Mm. Princess, you are completely right. <clears throat> king Walls, don't push yourself. You must hurry to Karnak. Their fire crystal is being amplified with a machine similar to ours. It seems that a meteorite has fallen outside of Karnak as well. There is no time to lose! Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
You know, it seems like Lena's the main character. I mean, we started out with Bart's, and he's like the adventurer, explorer guy, backpacking with his chocobo. And yeah, yep, 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 yep. Let's start out with this adventure. I'm Bart's. Yep, yep, yep. But Lena feels like, I mean, she's like the royalty person. We're not going to include Ferris, I suppose. Why would we? But, uh, yeah. Lena seems like kind of the main character. She's got, like, the connections, the royalty connections. Really the only connections. I mean, in Final Fantasy IV, like, Cecil's from Bar and Yang was from Fabul. Edward was uh, Prince of Dancing. Um, 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 you know, well, basically, I mean, there was people from, like, every place. There really was, just about. Edge was a prince. There's, like, multiple princes or princesses. And... Actually, were there any princesses? No. No. I mean, Cecil and Rosa later became a king and queen, and Yang later became a king. So, I mean, like, before game royalty and after even more game royalty in that game. But this, Bars is just like some traveler dude, you know, hey, I'm just going where the wind takes me. Ferris is like a no one. I mean, pretty much in a way. You know, she's like, I'm a pirate. I don't know. You may never have found me, and I wouldn't have been involved in this story at all. Galuf, there's definitely more to him than meets the eye. He might be kind of important from a kingdom. Um, and then Lena is Princess Lena. Uh, you know what? Let's check out the town real quick. Although, uh, you know, there's not going to be much to do here. I'm sure. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, we're stuck with four. We're stuck with four party members. We're not getting any more now. It is such a mix with four. Like, look, look at this. This screen. It looks like four, but almost looks like six. It's as if this game was in between the two. Ah, <gasps> <gasps> poor King Walls. He's always so kind, and now he's at death's door. I hate, and I hate, I hate all the blue dudes. I'm gonna call them blue dudes. You guys with the blue hair. I hear they found a soldier from Karnak near the meteorite. Karnak is way over on the western continent. If ships aren't sailing, how in the world did he get here? Well, okay, there you go. It looks like we're gonna be going to this western continent now. I can barely believe it. The crystal is gone. Now that the crystal's gone, the water has started getting dirtier. Snob. Water snob. Those duty heads! They were mean to Garua! You stupid looking Skeksis. Let's kill it! I hate your whimper. Well, I mean, there's not gonna be new magic. Yeah, we got all these. Time Mage, Summoner, Red Mage, uh, the Mystic Knight dude. Those, those could be important. <laughs> what else? Berserker. Oh, they're probably all important. We'll see. First, the Crystal and Tycoon shatters, then ours. How long before something happens to the other two crystals? So, two more already, huh? So, obviously, those are gonna shatter too. Come on. And then after that, it'll be like a new chapter. Maybe, will, will, will there be dark crystals too? Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ugh. It's easy being green, dig. <laughs> That's silly. That, that should be a secret. It's not, and I don't like it. I don't like that. All right, so I'm out of here. I'm going to go to that meteorite. Uh, but real quick, what about this special house that's not special? The crystal is gone now, and with it the water's power. From now on, we will have to defend ourselves. All right there, dummy. I want to... I could go for an apple. Apples are great. I should get some apples today. Look in the video description. Yeah, right now. 
Look at that picture. What do you think of the apples I just bought? They look nice, huh? Yeah, I just picked up some apples. Right now, after saying that sentence. And then put it there. Cool, huh? Gonna eat those. They look good. Gonna eat those apples, man. They're gonna be scrum diddly umptious. Alright, so the meteor. Um... What are you again? I think I overshot. Oh, Carwin, yeah. I'm getting distracted. Oh, yeah, Carwin. <laughs> oh, yeah, Carwin. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, once again, I'm just going here just in case. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no... I'm gonna buy one, cause, you know, you never know. You know? You know! And what was that leather something or other that... I had equipped on you, Ferris? Was it a... Mm, it was a leather something. Ah. Alright, let's go. You know, Lena doesn't annoy me as a character. You know, um, she's young. Not too young. But she's not that... Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's right. I just overshot it a little bit. She's not that, like... I don't know, that typical... Realm in Final Fantasy VI wasn't too bad. It was after VI where, you know, Yuffie... Then came Yuffie, then came Selfie, then came Riku... Oh, but before that, in nine, I skipped nine. There was, uh... Echo, Ico, Eco. <laughs> I believe I've pronounced her name as all of those at one point or, or another. What do I what do I go with now? It's not Echo. Um, do I go with Eco now or Ico? Oh my God! I just, I can never remember like what I want to stick with. All right, I'm gonna go with that one. Like back when I first started playing Final Fantasy VII. I know I'm getting sidetracked here. When I first started Final Fantasy VII, I said. Uh, uh, Yuffie for for Yuffie's name and ugh, you know was, that's a bad one. I'll give that one up. I'm not ever giving up certain ones, but I'll give that one up and I'll just call her Yuffie. Like it's pretty appropriate to do so. But man, I can't remember you, Echo. Uh, so just a hole. The hole is there. All right, it's at this point where I could go to the other meteorite and look, but I'm sure it's still clogged up. I'm sure that takes me to another place. I knew it though. You could tell. You could tell that the door would be there in the middle and it would open up. I didn't know it would be some sort of transport thing. Oh, we're caving. You didn't tell me what the... Well, it could be something really short, really. Let's find out. Only one way to find out. Yeah, it's a portal. No monster encounters, it seems. Man, I swear, they stole this right, this this screen. They stole it right out of Final Fantasy IV, the setup. Uh, what was that little cave where you you get, you get give the dude the rat tail because he's doing ore stuff. He's searching for ore, and he needs a rat tail. And Cecil and company give him one, and then they get an item. That's like this little room right here, man. Oh! Yeah! Bart! Did he make it? D did he warp? <laughs> we won't know until we try. Ah, uh, this... This all looks really familiar. And the soldier in that tower knew me. Who am I? All right, another meteorite. Ha! <laughs> warp. The warp, just like Final Fantasy IV between Baron and Mysidia. Just like that. The Serpent's Gate, whatever. Um, Galuf. 
Galuf was warped. Maybe he lost his memory due to warp stuff or meteor stuff or he just fell, whatever, who cares. But he he warped before at the other meteorite uh, where we found him without a doubt. That's, that's what happened. He probably came from, um, well, from the other warp place, from the other meteorite that we'll go to eventually. So we're probably not gonna uncover Gallup's identity. I mean, I could be wrong. This is just a guess. I mean, maybe it'll happen now during this continent's trek, but if not now, I, I'm predicting the next one because, I mean, he didn't come from this meteorite warp. He came, well, he must have come from the other one, from his land. That's why no one really knew him here. I mean, a soldier recognized him back there a little bit, but he warped too, right? Uh, anyway, yeah, enough of that for now. We are, all right, we're looking good and we're out here. Oh, look, there's my dragon. All right, so kind of the western continent, I guess. Uh, I'm sure we can't go all the way, um, like, southwestish. Probably just northwestish. We'll see. You know, there's going to be mountains. We'll be boxed in a little bit, I imagine. Let's see what we can check out here. A new town, I guess, huh? Ooh, new monsters. Wild Max! The wolves! So, blue magic, how does this work? Do I just have to level up my, uh, my blue mage? Do I have to defeat enemies? Like, Quinna eats them in Final Fantasy IX? Can't eat though, it's weaker! Good job, White Mage Lena. I'm gonna level Lena up to uh, level seven, I believe is her next one. I wonder if that's the last, you know, lucky number seven. Level six, and it's a big one, like 218 all the way to 300. That, I don't know, depends. I mean, no one's, Bart's at five. It takes a while, of course, the higher you go up. Gallop's Monk's about to go up. All right, so we're blocked in. What about that forest with the gorillas? Uh, you know, maybe that's that was nothing. Ah, look at you guys, cool. Gallif, you're great. Monks are great. Let's do some kicking. Yeah, we're starting to do some attacks into uh, triple digit numbers, you know? Barts and Galluff, mainly. I mean, sometimes magic casting, like fire and ice, whatever. Gain focus. Turtle shell. I wonder what that does. Alright, some options here. A zoo! Don't swoon me! We should probably combine magics, mage on mage style. But I don't want to switch over yet. I might do a tiny bit off the clock leveling. I really don't have to do much. It's not about the HP levels. It's about learning abilities and the job stuff, really, that I want to, th the reason why I want to, um, you know, level up my characters. I want to learn uh, more stuff and master, master their jobs. So the light grass in this, yeah, this is leading to something, huh? Probably a town. And... Not to back attack! Alright, man. Ooh, do not, don't feel me up, dude. Dude. Was that the zoo I missed who did that? Wasn't that, um, I was being stoned. Petrification there, huh? I, I mean, I'm sure the village is right up there, so why am I just wasting my time? I need to get the lay of the land, and I don't have... Oh. 
Hmm. It's a big town and a castle down here. Here's Karnak. Just had to take a peek, you know. Oh, a boat. So, big town. Here's a castle. Um, a little sneak peek of the music there. It seems Karnak could be in some trouble. Now, is it just me, or does this little spot of land right here look important? Ah. I don't know. Yeah, a little boat there. There's a gate. I'm gonna explore the rest of the land. Preemptive or not, woof is! I'm gonna leave. Hey, I might be, uh... I haven't talked about my dogs in a while. I might be... I need to get uh, another crate for Lulu. Lulu Bell, my... My newest dog. She's a Chihuahua. And, well, when I go out, she needs to be crated. She's okay. I think it's um, it's a matter of her getting bored sometimes, you know? Uh, I mean, she's young. She's like one-ish. And, you know, you leave a dog alone for a couple hours. They get bored and they, <laughs> they want to do something. So, uh, well, the last last time, the other day, I came back after like eh, two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, tissue box was the culprit, and she tore every single tissue out of the box, every, tissues everywhere, and, uh, you know, and she does well in the crate, you know, she doesn't do any potty business in there, it's like her home, she's, there's nothing up here, nothing, what is the point, nothing, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my anger out on you, tortoises, so, uh, anyway, but the crate I have right now was for a previous dog of mine, a golden retriever, so you know how big those are. She's like a little chihuahua mixed dog, so little, big, you know, so the crate's too big, and also it's kind of an eyesore in our, I mean, it works fine, but it's like an eyesore in, in my house, in my wife and I's house. How dare it be an inconvenience of an eyesore or anything like that? We shall not have that. We need to buy another crate. We need to spend more, uh, money and buy something else that we really don't need. Uh, because it'll be smaller and better on the eyes and look nicer. Yeah, okay. So anyway, so anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go look at dog crates. Speaking of dog stuff, I, I'm, I think we're switching uh, our other dog to wet food. Our other uh, dog, Bailey, he's just a full-blown long-haired chihuahua. Of course, many of you know Bailey, <laughs> right? Yeah, of course you do. These dogs have been in videos in the past, of course. Bailey and a bunch, Lulu and a couple recently, because she's a new addition. I guess there's nothing up here, at least for now. So uh, yeah, we're 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 kind of switching Bailey to the wet the wet stuff, wet food. He's 11. I mean, Chihuahuas, little dogs, they you know long lifespans and all that. But oh, <laughs> the gray hair. So you got the gray hair, Bards. <laughs> Wait, was was that the gray hair, or was that like something about petrification? I don't know. I'm not really paying attention. I'm just running from the battles, you know. Let's uh, let's fight and pay attention. Well, Gal, if you kind of have gray hair, sort of. Is it a high level thing? Hmm. Interesting. What is? I forget what the gray hair stuff does to you. Does it weaken you? Like, um, the higher level you get, the easier you can get the gray hair effect, but you still, you have to deal with it. You have to, um, preserve and deal with it if you want to, like, master it. So that's what, Lena and Bart's, right? I mean, Gallif and Ferris, they're new dudes with new stuff. And I feel like, uh, if I'm right about level 7, I mean, Bart's is only a level 5. He didn't use any certain attack on me, the the enemies, I believe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sticking my nose in the... I'm, st <laughs> I'm sticking my nose in the too many places. I just want to see, man. I just want to have a little... Uh... Oh, and by the way, Karnak Castle, you have the same boring... <sighs> boring music. Well, it's not boring, but I want something new, and that's a little bit of a disappointment. Final Fantasy V, game that came after 4. I'm predicting we have no access here. 
No one may enter the castle. That means you, so get lost! Huh? No one may enter the castle. Means you, so get lost! Huh? No one may enter the castle. Uh, that means you, so, so get lost! Uh. Alright. Well, I think we got the message. The fire-powered ship is off-limits. Uh, fire-powered ship, eh? Well, can't get in the castle. Can't do anything with that ship. That just leaves... The town of Karnak. And, uh... Hmm... Do we have trouble here, or is it just kind of a fireplace? Could be both. I don't know, guys. We'll find out shortly. But before that, I'm going to call it a wrap right here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, everyone, you can follow me on my social media pages, including my Patreon. The links are in the video description. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy V. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.